I love brainstorming. Yeah. That's one of the best things about games. Right from the beginning, it's, it's just a creative process. Yeah, it's nice. fun. What happened to the, the original concept art for Poseidon? It, no, the concept art was for a Titan, a oh, water yeah. Titan. Can we bring it up on here? Uh, uh, yeah, that's fucking sweet. That's, that's really fucking <laughs> cool. He's even got the tentacles. Whatever we come up with, it's like, hey, that would be cool. We could, and we just make it form out of water, whatever it might be. A lot of talented people were sitting in that room figuring out, oh, this would be cool, this would be neat, throwing out all these ideas out, doing our best to try and live up to the God of War 1 and 2 standards, which are, um, are insane. Really high. <laughs> it's like it has to be like almost like in a shape that's like scary. I agree with that. When you pull the camera out, what do you see? And if it's like, if it is like, he's turned into like a huge squid and, sure. and she's all tied up or something like that. But as you're like fucking flea size and as you're running around, you see a big part of this. Well, what do you think, what do you think about maybe that, whatever that thing is, it's a lot of different things? It's everybody, you know, it's not just one person that comes to the table and has, okay, here's the perfect idea. It's everybody rifting together. Just like the idea that Poseidon swells up with water and just becomes semi-translucent and you can see all of his veins and stuff. And so that way you're actually hitting flesh. Going off of sort of like Will's idea and a combination of the things that we talked about is his, his skin is basically like a jellyfish. On the inside of his body he has all the bones. He has a, actually a bone structure. That way we have a, a creature that you know looks like it has some some meat to it made out of the ocean. So I think like going off of what you were talking about where it's like maybe you've got like reef and seaweed and stuff like that we can even have we could probably make it look like water's running through that stuff. I would hope that we get at least all kind of get on the same page. At the end of the day today it's like yeah this is kind of somewhat direction we're gonna go. Maybe it starts off and a wave crashes up and after you see like this far shot or something of a wave kind of overtaking Kratos and Gaia on the side of the mountain or something like that, you're freaking out. <laughs> I was like, you're probably freaking out right now because of the yeah. cinematics. But, but, uh, and, and then after, afterwards, guys like, something's fucked up right now, I can't move. And then Kratos has to go out and find out what that thing is and he runs into this one thing. It's like, what the fuck is this thing? And it's obviously connected to something else. And then he finds the other thing later on. And at the end, there's this big reveal, and it's like, Bleh! and this is what this whole thing was that you were fighting it the whole time. I think that's cool pacing, because there's always a question in the player's head while they're proceeding. It's like, I don't know what the fuck this thing is. When they first approached me to work on Poseidon, they told me it's gonna be the very first big boss fight. Poseidon, if you remember from God of War 2, he looks more like just like a human god form. But in this game, he jumps down from Olympus into the ocean, and then he emerges out as a big water creature. This is my first sketch I did for Poseidon after doing a bunch of research on exactly what Poseidon is, the god of the ocean, the god of horses. So I thought to incorporate this design of a creature, of him being made of water and the actual waves kind of looking like horses. And then this is another one along the same veins having a lot of horses, so just kind of going wacky. Another sketch I did was this one where I incorporated multiple Poseidon's heads throughout the design, showing that uh, he's in control of this water tentacle. They like this design a lot with the multiple heads and they also liked the very first sketch with um, the, him leading the horses. They liked this one the best, so they liked this for the overall direction. So they saw this, they liked the feel of this, but they didn't like the direction of the octopus limbs because of previous bosses that we've had, like the Kraken. So this is just one of the limbs of the Poseidon creature, one of the arms. This one I incorporated the multiple faces, and then a lot of the crab legs. And then this is another one I did. And this one I wanted to kind of bring back because he's a god of horses to kind of capture some of that feel. So eventually they decided that uh, instead of having two different arms, you're gonna just be fighting one arm. And they also like the idea of the horse. This is the final, the very end. You're gonna be opening up his chest and revealing like this membrane, jellyfish kind of membrane, where you stab and eventually kill one of his limbs. It's later going to be revealed to you that you've been, the whole time you've been only fighting one of his limbs right here. It's going to be a really cool big moment in the game. Turnarounds are looking pretty nice. Today I'm going to be having an art review. We're getting to the completion of one of the Poseidon's limbs, so I'm working on the turnarounds now. Get the animators up here and make sure that those limbs, the front limbs, are not too long for him. Like, he'd have to raise it up so high. To get you right below, he'd have to be, like, basically have his arms way up like this. He'd be going 
down like that, and that's probably going to look a little silly. Let's have Andy finish this up. But Andy, can you save off a version of what you have right now so Adam can go over it with Bruno? And just keep on getting me up here to look at it. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. So we just had the review. It went well. They liked the direction, and I think a lot of it, because before, this is the view they've always seen but they've never seen the front view. So for them to be able to see the front view and to see how the shape, the silhouette actually makes a trident shape, they really like that idea. I just have to finish this up. I'll probably finish it up today and it, it'll be given to the modelers from there. First time I heard about Poseidon Creature was six months or so ago when I heard there's, is, we're gonna have a few of these huge Titan battles. This was the initial concept that was given to us. Things have changed proportionally for it to work right on screen. But it, you know, it generally has the same feel. I still have a lot of sculpting left on this guy. It's, a lot of this is just like the first pass. So right now I have more just the overall feel of it. Here's Kratos. He's pretty small compared to this guy. So I, I, I brought him in here just so I could have an idea of how big he's gonna be. So when it comes to details, how high res this character has to be. So you can see him, he's tiny. I just want you guys to go over and check it out before I start making all the rocks for his face, you know? So Yeah, I think it's good. Can we make sure that we're getting like some of this smaller detail like spread out over him as well? Okay. Can I see the scales on the back? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just really, really fucking cool. Yeah. Poseidon looks to be challenging for every department because it's so complicated. When I first saw the concept, really, I kind of looked at it and was like, what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> but um, that's pretty much what I say every time I see one of these crazy concepts anyway. You just go to your desk and beat your head against the table and figure out how the hell you're going to pull it off. Poseidon definitely falls into that class of one of those kind of surprises that I know is coming down the pipe. <laughs> uh, a lot of water. Uh, and that's kind of one of my worries because making good water is hard. We have to start off God of War 3 with a bang, and that's Poseidon. And Poseidon's going to be a water creature, so we have to make water look good on that character. I started doing some research on how we can make a character feel as if he's basically a waterfall, or so there's water running down him. And I spent a couple hours and I've put together the, the model that's behind me on the screen here. We basically want to try to prove the technology that we can make a model look like it has water running down it. So we don't have the Poseidon model built yet but we have Zeus, Poseidon is Zeus's brother. They'll probably have similar type proportions. So he was a good test. And this is a shader that I put together. It's pretty crazy with all these different connections. There's several different normal maps that are scrolling on top of each other. This probably took me three hours to set up the shader um, on top of an existing model. So where I wanna take this now is I'm gonna give it to the effects department and I wanna see like chunkier spraying water kind of coming down off of him. And then basically any area where water hits the surface, we just want to get little particle spray coming off to, you know, just give this thing more of a volume, more water volume. When I started on it, we had already established what Poseidon was going to look like, what the creatures that you were going to be fighting was going to look like, what Gaia was going to look like. We had the Gaia model. Uh, the Poseidon creature model was still in the process of being built. One of the quick things that, that's very surprising to the player, I guess, will be that that right there is how big Kratos is. and. That's Gaia. And this will be the, the initial fight combat tutorial. At that point, Gaia will change her animation and she'll start climbing on the mountain differently to allow the player to be able to walk down her arm. And the Poseidon intro will happen. The player will continue along after that. She'll be in a different pose. He'll walk over here, he'll do just a little jump, come down here, fight some more enemies, and then he'll walk up to here. And this is where the Poseidon horse creature encounter happens. So this is the first thing the player will see when he loads up the game. We're trying to frame her hand and show that she's climbing up Mount Olympus, which is just roughed out right here. And then we also want to find a way of getting her head in the shot and having her head bob around and sway. After the player works his way down Gaia, this will be the first big encounter that he experiences. The Poseidon creature will burst out, knock Gaia's hand back. He'll have to fight it. We're concerned with the player experiencing this new creature that he has no clue as to what it is. And the first thing he's doing is fighting it in a way that he doesn't feel comfortable. This is the first Poseidon creature encounter, and this right here is the first CS move kill for it, where he snaps its jaw. And at this point, 
The creature pulls away through Gaia's arm. Kratos attaches to him, and then as the creature's falling, he jumps off. He'll transition onto Mount Olympus. The Poseidon encounter is very much like you're riding the Colossus from God of War II, and you're fighting the Hydras on top of the Colossus. It's kind of incorporating all of those elements that worked really well in the previous God of Wars, but also raising the bar because it's, it's even more epic than could ever withstand before. <laughs> this is what I was delivered, the thing you encounter within five minutes of starting the game. This is essentially a rough version of the model. It's a pretty good start. It's got all the features like uh, this stretchy tail, which is pretty cool. It even has stretchy neck, which lets me do some crazy stuff with it. Since this creature is supposed to be made essentially out of water, he needs to be fluid and flexible. Then he's got this trident section back here. He uses that to maybe discharge lightning at the player or you know, do something very Poseidon-esque. This is the scene with Gaia and the tentacle creature and Kratos. And you may ask, where is Kratos? Well, he's in here somewhere. He's this little tiny dude right here. There's Kratos, I see him. So you can imagine trying to get the camera in here in the right place is kind of a challenging task. Plus the floor is Gaia and Gaia's moving around. So has a lot of complexity just to the elements of trying to get everybody lined up. You encounter this beast multiple times, so you fight him first and you wound him and he re retracts away and, and escapes and then you come back and then he's on another point in Gaia. And then finally, you realize that wasn't even the monster, that was just a, a small piece of the monster. And you get up to Gaia's head and that's where you encounter the full force of Poseidon. This is the actual Poseidon creature. This is Gaia's head here you're standing on. This thing has 10 arms and legs kind of, and then it's got three prongs on its back. It's also got well over 20 controls just in its spine. There's a lot of stuff going on. He's busy. But that was my first initial impression was there's a lot going on with Poseidon. The more I think about him, the more epic and grand, why not? I mean, that's kind of like a God of War boss w will be. Especially when you're dealing with pieces of him as you go through and then when you come to the very end, being able to see the full glory of him and just realizing, wow, that's just a little piece of him here and that's just a little piece of him here and getting to the end and going, wow, he's huge. And that should be pretty epic being little Kratos on Gaia, a Titan versus Poseidon a god and they're both huge and you're just this little guy in the middle of it that's really going to change or determine who's going to win that outcome. Michael and I have been working on the Poseidon boss battle for a couple months now and we've been working through the progression for the whole fight, working with Justin as well on the level design side. We're trying to get the whole layout so we have a bare bones skeleton of how things progress. It goes back and forth to have an interesting pace to the beginning of the game. We're in the first uh, encounter of the Poseidon boss fight. We've already seen the creature come out. Poseidon boss battle is definitely something we haven't done before. There is concern, but I wouldn't be happy if we weren't concerned. There's no challenge there. And what we want to do is make something that really surprises people and really gets people excited about the game. This is the initial CS move, the first CS move you do in God of War 3. Kratos is going to wrap his chains around the bottom jaw of the Poseidon creature and then eventually rip the jaw off completely. Uh, it's better than over here, which was the initial placement. Boob when Valley. You're, I don't know if that little short, but when you're down here, it's kind of it's distracting. Just... Initially, we had Encounter 2. The creature was coming directly out of the center of Gaia and you see two gigantic mountains and the creature right in the middle of Boop Valley. Everybody giggles when they saw that. So That wasn't what we were going for. Not, 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 not at this portion of the game. We're not looking for laughs. We have the creature now coming out of Gaia's neck and Michael came up with the idea of one of the trident pieces on the back of the creature is actually piercing through her jaw and coming out of her mouth. So she really looks like she's in, in peril and she's getting uh, destroyed by this creature. From the get-go, I came up with the idea of doing the first-person kill and giving a new perspective on Kratos' kill sequences. And Michael took the idea and ran with it. When you defeat Poseidon as his horrible, uh, watery self, you corner him down here in his humanoid form, and that's when you have to kill him off. Immediately, everybody was just like sold once they saw it in-game. Yeah. There was a lot of skeptics, too, uh, as far as people come up to me and I'm sure Adam too and what are you doing and then actually seeing it in a game then everybody comes over and it's just like all right it worked. 
Kratos is not so good at making friends, but he's good at killing people. This boss battle has to end with a big, big finisher. And our final kill is where we're testing out these new CS moves of first person kills. So the mini game inputs right now are in a third person camera. And then when you succeed, you get to see the impact of Kratos' attacks and see how Poseidon feels as he's getting completely torn up. He just screams really loud and then bites his ear. <laughs> it's, it's more of a nibble than a bite. So last time we checked him out, it was just the grayscale high-res ZBrush version and I believe the low-poly version as well. So since then, we've messed with water technology stuff, trying to make it look more like water's flowing through him. Uh, help from like our art director, Ken, and other people trying to make the water look good. Generally though, water's pretty hard to do. It's just a combination of normal maps that scroll, like we take UVs and have them scroll, as well as parallax maps, which add the distortion, which makes it feel like it's a little deeper. After we do all the fights, get it designed, and seeing um, what you really see and what you really don't. And then we might have to adjust stuff from there, you know? Poseidon is doing well right now. We've been working on it for I don't know how many months. Uh, but where we are right now is every part of the boss fight and every part of the level has a first pass right now. It's in, it's functioning. I could hand you a controller and you can play through it. Tuning wise, it might be too hard. The animations might be placeholder, but it's there. And we have people internally play testing it. So there's people who around here have picked up the controller, played it, and been like, oh, wow, this sucks, or this is awesome. And then we keep tuning it and playing around with it to that. We have meetings every week now so we constantly see how much there is to do and I mean it's close as far as gameplay wise it's kind of it's all there but doing stuff on the Titans is proven to be very challenging so things that would usually take five minutes take two hours all things considered all the crazy shit we're doing in there we've had to make hardly any if any concessions which is pretty amazing because the scope of this thing is just huge this is when we finally get the reveal of Poseidon in his big giant epic form. So you find out that these creatures you're fighting are just part of this one, or basically the ocean pulled up to Mount Olympus. Oh, Poseidon's broken. Um, there you go. So, That's how you know it's in development. <laughs> in development. And he's supposed to, the water's supposed to be moving here and all that. He's got no arms. <laughs> he's got no arms. You know, we have to polish this. We have to make this <laughs> robust and bug free, which that's the really scary part. Um, but it's getting there. When we first saw Poseidon, we were visiting the studio in Santa Monica and working with Stig, and it just blew us away that the whole screen was filled with this boss. We, I don't think there's ever been a boss as big as this boss. We're actually right in the midst of scoring it with Mike Regan, and it's going to be huge. We're going to pull out all the stops, 20 brass players, 53 string players, massive amounts of percussion. So we're really going to try to create a kind of a, a cinematic unfolding experience for that whole first gigantic boss fight. I hope that they're just blown away by just the, something they'd never seen before in a game and that's, I mean that's, to me that's my ultimate goal when I'm making games is like hopefully to make something that people haven't experienced and that makes your game really stick out. The moment that I really got to play through that Poseidon level at the beginning of the game and you remember how excited I was, like really kind of like when we first got the, the assets together and like we could sit down and play the things. And you could see, like, with the polish and everything, how amazing it was going to be. And that was, that's it for me right there. You have disrespected the gods for the last time, Kratos. 